Hello, I'm John, and welcome to my YouTube channel, John's Box. Witam, nazywam się John. Witam na kanale John w Polsce. Pozostała część w języku angielskim. So, to another edition of English just for you. This is the April edition. Now, where we look at five sentences which contain language mistakes, and, and of course. Uh, each time I'll tell you what the correct sentence or how the correct sentence should read. We don't have the benefit of uh, video edits, so um, I'll place them in the video description, the actual correct versions of the sentence, so we'll, without further ado. Um, by the way, after we've finished uh, reviewing the five sentences for this month, there'll also be another edition of John's Random Questions, which we kicked off a few weeks ago. More about that in a moment. So the first sentence. He promises do... This shouldn't be here. He promises do his homework. So promise and do are two verbs. Um, and the verb pattern for a lot of verbs is the uh, base verb, infinitive, sorry, the verb um, promise with to plus infinitive, promise to do. Therefore, the sentence should read, so you promise to do something, he promises to do his homework. That's the correct one. We'll now move on to sentence number two. Sentence number two, which is, the car is her. She is the car. No, 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 no. You could say, um, alternatively, the possessive with the object. This is her car. But without the object, the pronoun, object pronoun will be hers. This is her, this car is hers. This car is his. This car is theirs. This car is mine. And so on and so forth. That's sentence number two. We'll now move on to sentence number three. Sentence number three, uh, which is, what is the biggest country in the world? Well, yep, it all sounds perfectly good, and it is, when you hear somebody saying it. However, when we see the writing, there is a mistake in the comparative of big. If you have um, consonant, vowel, consonant, you double the last letter. Therefore, uh, it should be a double G. What is the biggest country in the world? And the answer to that is Russia by size and China, uh, sorry, India by population. That's sentence number three. Sentence number four. Um, I didn't wrote to him yesterday. I didn't wrote to him yesterday. Now, when we use a did or a didn't, the verb, the base verb, the infinitive remains in its base form. The infinitive. Therefore, the sentence should read, I didn't write to him yesterday, as opposed to the affirmative, I wrote to him yesterday. That's sentence number four. We'll now come on. We'll now move on to the final sentence. The final sentence which reads, Robert is in the hospital. He broke his arm yesterday. Just one mistake uh, here, um, if uh, we use the article THE hospital, then we're referring to a particular building in a particular place, it's specific. If we're referring to the institute as we are referring in this particular case, we can guess, then we, the, 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 the noun doesn't take the article. Therefore, the sentence should read, Robert is in hospital. He broke his arm yesterday, or because he broke his arm yesterday, if you want to make it into one sentence. That's the final sentence, number five. So there you have it. Um, we'll now move on to the section of uh, John's Random Questions. John's Random Questions, uh, which, I, as I mentioned, I started uh, a few weeks ago. Um, we have a whole host of questions in this random question box, which over the years my students have contributed to. 
they're not always uh, grammatically written these questions and what I'll aim to do is to correct them not only to answer those questions but also to correct them so first question there is this one um, from 2015 I know who it's from actually it's uh, one of my ex-students who was really into Star Wars and the question is what do you think about new Star Wars trailer The Force Awakens TFA yeah um, I actually went to see the film The Force Awakens I'm not really into Star Wars I'm in no way a fan I remember as a kid the original uh, Star Wars, um, I don't want to show my age, but um, what do I think of it? Well, I don't even remember it, to be honest with you. I don't even remember much about the film itself. What do you think? <laughs> okay, let's move on to the uh, next random question that I'm going to select. Let's dig deep, dig deep. And it's this one. Actually, we've got two. I've chosen two at once. So this one's from 2020. Oh. Very simple, basic question. What's your favourite sport? Well, <laughs> um, actively, uh, I, I go running. Um, so obviously that's my favourite to do and my favourite to watch. I don't really watch much sport nowadays. It's quite time consuming if you want to watch a football match. You need to, a live football match, you need to dedicate two hours of your time. I rather watch highlights. Football, I would say, is the most interesting one to watch for me, followed by athletics. Third question then. Uh, there's no year here. Did you go in New York in this year? I think, there you go. Did you go to New York this year? Or have you been to New York, you could say. No, I've never been to New York. Uh, I have been to the United States. I've been to Washington, D.C., um, the capital of the United States. Um, there was a um, proposal by my host um, to go to New York, but it would have meant a much longer journey from uh, where they lived in, in Pennsylvania. And I thought, thought maybe uh, Washington, D.C. is more attractive. Maybe one day I'll go to New York. Um, it's not on my bucket list, actually. If I never go, then so be it. Um, I do believe it's there. And maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so we've how many questions have we had? That's three. Three or four? Three. So two more questions. I'll choose at random. Um, this one, there's again no year to this one. What is your favourite film? Hmm, there are a few films which uh, um, I really enjoy watching. Uh, rather, they're all relatively old. Um, I can't say that I have a favourite film. There are films that I've watched time and time again. You know, I like rather light uh, films, comedy, not films where you have to think too much. Um, where you have to use your noodle or brain to work out whatever. Those are the sort of films I like watching, but I don't think I have a favourite film to answer that question. Final question then. Let's dig deep. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Again, uh, the question, do you, prefer, do you prefer Apple or Samsung phones? Yeah. Well, let's say iOS or Android systems. I would say... Um, most of I've, I've always had a, um, Android most of the time I once had a Nokia smartphone if you have, and that was using a Windows software that was using Windows software my first ever uh, smartphone actually was an Apple it was an iPad iPod the first actually it was the first one ever um, back in 29 or 2009 or 2010 unfortunately um, I, I damaged it, that's all I can say. Um, currently I'm using a Xiaomi, is that how you say it, Xiaomi, I can't even say it, a uh, readme phone which uh, I'm recording this video 
on. So that's the answer to that question. Yes, this has taken about 10 minutes, all told. Um, including uh, the English Just For You part. Uh, please support my channel. Um, if you want to find out more about the sentences we featured, uh, maybe from an analytical point of view, please sure, be sure to make a comment, or just comment anyway, whether you like the video or not, it always adds to the content. Okay, I shall be back again um, for another edition of English Just For You, featuring five, another five language mistakes, plus five random questions from the box. That's it for today. Thank you very much, and see you in another video. Bye for now.